Good evening, this is Froom FM, 96.6 FM, and online at froom.fm. This is Soundcheck, I'm Patrick Moss. And I'm Saravia, and we have Where the Water Lies, live in the studio. And they're, I, yeah. they're a band, I think, from Froom College. And it's, we have Solo Ray Candy on uh, vocals and guitar. What a name, what a name. And... Um, Jude Schofield on guitar is not here, actually. Jude's no. sick. Um, we have Sky Whitty on bass and Michael uh, Mitchell Price. Sorry, Mitchell. Uh, warm welcome to you all. Um, thanks for coming into the studio. Uh, great to have you here. Um, have, have you been playing long? Probably about a year. Just a year, yeah? Yeah. And did you all meet at Froome College? No, we met at Oakfield. Oakfield School? Yes. Oh, sweet. Yeah. And how did you find out that you all played and stuff? Uh, we already knew each other through yeah. like, p for like, like a bunch of meetups through like classes and stuff. Uh huh. And we'd already played together in like music classes. So oh right, so you so you met in music class. Yeah. Oh brilliant. Yeah. Okay, great. So it's so nice to find people that you have a chemistry with and mm. that uh, you can make some magic with. Yeah. Are we live yet? I think we're waiting for the signal. I think we're live. So we're going to have where the water lies with their opening live number in the studio. Off you go, guys. Okay, this song is called Where Is My Mind by the Pixies. This is Froome FM Soundcheck with Where the Water Lies live in the Froome FM studio. And that was Where Is My Mind by the Pixies. I'm going to put you on the spot uh, solo. You're the vocalist. 
Uh, yeah. How did you se get selected for that role? Well, there was a sort of audition that went on and a couple of people turned up. It was like uh, the main leader at the time, which was Jude, like he picked people who he thought were the best at certain things. And he and we all turned up and it just sort of like, it, it was immediate that there was like a chemistry between us. So like, that was just it. There was no need to have any more like auditions or anything. That was just it. Okay. And did the rest of you get your roles in the band through auditions the same way? Um, not really. I just, um, Jude's... Um, not for me. Uh, Jude's said asked me if I wanted to actually play keyboard in the band but then um I switched to bass cuz I don't know it it sounded a bit better I guess and that's how I I was always I played keyboard in the last band we had so that was right, okay Yeah well I kind of just got chosen they were like oh do you want to do it and I was like yeah yeah sure it's nothing else is okay that. right just for the information of viewers there, we heard in order Sky and then Mitchell. Uh, Sky's the bass player, Mitchell on the drums. Yeah. Um, great. Okay, thanks. Um, how are we doing time-wise? Are we um, ready yet for another live track? I reckon so. Okay, guys. Um, we're going to set you up again to play live out on air. So um, if you could introduce the next number. This song is called uh, I Don't Know Where to Begin. was that about them? Um, I don't know really. It was just a bunch of, we were just brainstorming for ideas, you know, because that was our own song. So, you know, I think that was probably our third song that we'd ever created. And it was like, 
we sort of run out of the basic ideas that we were doing for songs. So we were just brainstorming for ideas, really. Mm. So, yeah. so can you remember where you got the the original idea to just brainstorm? Was always, you know, how how did you go about writing songs? Because it's quite a tricky process, isn't it? And well, it would start off with like Jude, because he was our lead guitarist. I wouldn't usually, I don't usually play guitar in the band. So um, it would start off with him. He'd get down some chords, and then we'd get a drum beat and a bass line. And then while they were playing, I'd just think of words to say. And, you know, I'd sing them, and then it would become a chorus. Oh, wow. So you, you don't normally play guitar then? Not. Oh, wow. Really. So well, you've I jumped am a in tonight. But yeah, yeah, I jumped into yeah. the position. Are we going to give a shout out to Jude? Is he listening? Uh, yeah, hopefully yeah. he is listening. And yeah, get, so. get well soon, Jude. You know, yeah. Get back Sorry in action. Sorry to hear you. Sick, Jude. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so sick. <laughs> so, how many songs have you written? Uh, we've got, we have, we had five, but then we sort of dropped one because we didn't really like it. Mm. But, but then, um, I think we got four or three now that we play. Yeah. So and it, yeah. are you thinking of recording it for as a demo or? No, we haven't got any plans of that recently. Mm. Not lately, no. Do that. I mean, does Froom College sort of um, support? You know. Uh, music, uh, could you get you know help to record stuff and things? Oh yeah, all the um, all the like music teachers there are really really helpful, and they like there's lots of events that go on. Like there was a later later with Froom College, which was really good. Oh yeah, that's that's that looks really yeah, good. Yeah, that, w that was good. And then there was an even later with Froom College, which was here, mm -hmm. and that was really good. So mm. yeah, there's a lot of stuff to do at college, and they're mm. really helpful. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. So. Um, should we move on to the next track? Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, what's the next track? Um, Rocking in the Free World. Oh, fantastic. Neil Young. There we go. Very yeah. good influences. <laughs> okay. Ready? <laughs>
Well, that was Keep On Rocking in the Free World, brought to you by Where the Water Lies. Um, do covers play a particularly large part of your repertoire? Not really, no. No, we've just... These two covers we've done today have just been ones we've sort of... I've thought of, and we've just put them together in probably the last three weeks. Right, so, OK. Oh, um, OK, quite a choice. I mean, taking on a nearly young classic is... It's quite a challenge to pull off. Yeah. Uh, is he one of your influences? I know we move on to influences later in the show, but... Uh, yeah. <coughs> yeah what he, you, he really is one of my What influences. did he bring to your... What, what did, what's he brought to your music? Oh, I really like his sort of, like, solo aspect of it, and I just... I don't know, I just really love all of his music, really. <laughs> OK, right. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's not the politics or... No. No, OK. Yes. Yes. In a bit, yeah. It is, right, OK. Yeah, because yeah, he's, he's quite a mover in certain... Yeah, he is. Um, he's a Sarah's better informed about Neil Young than I am, but uh, he is quite a mover in environmental politics yeah. and um, co communitarianism. Yeah, there was yeah. a lot of that in that song, obviously. Especially, yeah, yeah because it was all about that sort of stuff. Yeah, OK. <laughs> um, you're coming through college. Mm -hmm. How do you fit this in with the rest of what you're trying to do? Well... Mm, we used to have it so every Sunday there'd be a band practice, but that's sort of because we've been caught up in the end of term because it's just the summer holidays now. Uh, we sort of we before the end of term it used to be once in a week in a lunchtime, like in a school lunchtime. So we'd step aside our like lunch, what we usually do, and we go to the music room and we just like plug everything in and just run through our songs and start writing down words for like a new song. So that's basically what we did. So it, w at one time it was like two rehearsals a week, but now it's one. Right, OK. And that's the Sunday one that's left now. Yeah. Yeah, OK. Right, I think we're probably getting through, because uh, you've had three live numbers in the studio so far. Mm -hmm. uh, we're probably lining up for the four. Yeah. Would you like to...? Oh, uh, this song is called Sharp, and it's another one of our one. OK. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. With a signature ending from Mitchell on drums there. Um, Mitchell, can you just tell me how long you've been playing drums? Uh, about four years, I think now, since I was in year five. And, and who inspired you to play drums? I don't know, really. I just thought it was cool. Cause yeah. Have you not got a favourite drummer then? Well, not really. I, I, I don't mind all different types of drumming. I'm not really set to one thing. I like mm. a bit of everything. Mm. Very cool. So versatile. Yeah. Yeah. And I really like the uh, the the smart look there as well. So. Recorder, sadly, but um, yeah, drumming's just my main thing. I don't really do anything else now. Yeah. Excellent. No, really good. You're all really good. So do you play anything else besides uh, play guitar and sing solo? Uh, I play a bit of banjo and I suppose harmonica, if that counts as an instrument. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Does, yeah. yeah they're sort of my two, like, when I'm sitting in my room, they're just stuff because I'm not very good at either of them. I practice them a bit, yeah. Mm. But then it's mainly guitar for me. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. Okay, well, so we're, we're probably ready for the fifth and final song in this uh, third, aren't we? So Lightning Crashes, that's by Live, is it? Yes. So that's it another co cover, isn't it? Yeah, and it's, yeah. Just, it's just me for this one, okay? So, all right, sorry, guys. Okay, so we'll just introduce you. This, so this is solo Ray Candy yes. singing uh, Lightning Crashes by Live. <laughs>
This is Soundcheck on Froome FM, 96.6 FM and online at froome.fm. And that was a solo by Solo Ray Candy. Um, it wasn't called Solo, was uh, it? No, it wasn't. It was a solo. Oh, a solo. Uh, <laughs> lightning crashes. Um, that was great. Thanks for that. We now move into the... This is a show of three halves. So we move into the middle half, which is the influences. Um, you've selected five tracks between you um, that we're going to play over the course of the next half hour. Um, and sorry to keep the spotlight on you, Solo, That's but okay. the first selection appears to be yours. Um, the idea is we just listen to the songs that you've chosen and discuss how they've influenced mm -hmm. your, why you've chosen them, your, your, um, the, the, uh, the way that that music has influenced what you're doing now, mm -hmm. or why it's brought you to where yep. you are. Okay, so we're going to kick off, and I guess we're going to hear the music first and then ask you to talk about it yep. um, with um, your choice, which is Pantomime Horse by Suede. This is Froome FM, 96.6 FM, and, li and online at froome.fm. Um, Solo, that was your choice, Pantomime Horse. Yeah. Um, would you like to tell us a little bit about why you chose it? What does it mean to you? Um, it's just, it was just a really good, it's a song that I've liked for ages, and it's like one of my, so a song that I've known for a long time. And it was like, it was a song that, when I, we first got our new, stereo system it was the first thing we played on it and it was like it was playing really loud and it was just a really cool moment and i just really love how it's like contrasts between the um the slow start and then it sort of ramps up to like the really strong guitar and yeah. the full-on vocals and right. i just love and given you've been standing it. in this studio playing guitar and doing the vocals yeah that yeah it's, it sort of appeals to me as like a very vocally strong song and it's like, I don't know, I like that. That really comes across. I yeah. Mean, that, that does come across in it. Yeah. Um, has it influenced your own style in any way? Do you aspire to be that? Um, mm, I don't really know. I don't think it's really, I haven't talked about it at all to the band or anything. So it's not like a band that we, it's a song that we all know. Right. It's a song that I chose. And I suppose when I'm writing my own songs, it comes across a bit, but when I'm with the band, it's probably, if there was any traces of it, it was probably lost within like the rest of the band's ideas okay, and stuff. Okay, fine, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well that's great. Thanks for sharing that's that okay. particular influence with you. Yeah. So let's move on to your choice, Sky. You've chosen a song by, uh, called Christina by Tellyman. I've never heard of that. So what's that? Um, I don't know. It's a song, it's quite a, it's quite a song I've recently heard and I I don't know I I heard it my friend um, we were just listening to it on the way back we were listening to his iPod on the way back from a holiday and then I heard it and and it was really good and it's just a really nice up, up, upbeat song and I don't know I just so is it a current uh, artist uh yeah um, they it's one of the older albums so it's one of them but yeah the They've released a couple of new albums recently, I think. Okay, so let's have a listen to Christina by Tallyman. Okay, so that was uh, Christina by Tellyman, and that was Sky Witty's choice, and Sky plays bass with this band that we are featuring today, Where the Water Lies. So, um, Sky, you mainly play keyboard, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I do. Um, yeah. Do you, I mean, what do you do with the keyboard? Do you do your own stuff or play with another band or something? 
Um, no, I'm just, at the moment, I'm just doing grades, but I've got a new panel teacher and we're going to do some improvisation stuff as well, so. So what grade are you on now? Um, five currently. Very well disciplined, well done. <laughs> so, um, we've managed to get an answer from Jude about why he chose, uh, the track that he chose, which is Purple Haze, which we're going to play in a minute, Purple Haze by Jimi Hendrix, and can you just read out what Jude's got back to us? Uh, yeah, Jude said, because Jimmy is the best and most influential guitarist of all time, his riffs and playing in general make me have goosebumps. I envy his creativity. That's a really profound answer, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Yes. Okay, so let's have a listen to Jimi Hendrix. Good evening, this is Froom FM, 96.6 FM, and online at froom.fm. We're live from the old fire station in Froom with Where the Water Lies um, in the studio. Um, they are currently in the middle of discussing their influences, and standing next to me is Mitchell. Yeah. Hiya. We, uh, the next track, we've just heard Purple Haze by Jimi Hendrix, which was for Jude, who unfortunately isn't with yeah. us. Um, are you a Hendrix fan? I know we're going to talk about your music in a moment. Yeah, I I don't mind it. I'm into any music, really. I haven't really got a specific like thing. Uh, I don't mind anything that's in the charts or anything, really. Okay, right, good. Um, unusually, you've managed to pick one that I've never heard of for your yeah. own choice. Um, this Girl? Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure it's a remix. Right, of okay. Old song or uh, it's the group in particular, if it is a group, the artist, Kungs versus Cooking on Three Burners? Yeah, I, I don't know. Right, it's, okay. it's their only song I've ever heard. Right, okay. Where I did like you pick it. this up from? I just I just heard it on the radio. Like, I don't know, I just heard it on the radio. And right, this wouldn't be Froom FM, I guess. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> what radio do you listen to, dare I ask? Usually, like, Capital FM or Kiss or something like that. Right, okay. And what is it about this girl? Oh, I don't know. I like the trumpet bit. Right, like, okay. There's a little trumpet thingy. Is that something that often appeals to you? No, a brass, I, just, a bit sax? I just thought it sounded cool in the song because it was a bit different to most songs. Like, It's not something you'd usually expect in a song like that. I know, as a, as a one-time trumpet player, I feel very lonely because they don't often <laughs> appear in modern music. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and you, did you know anything about the artist at all? No. Do you think it's a remix? <laughs> I think so, yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, how are we doing, Phil? Are we ready to play this one? Yeah, we are. Okay, we're going to hear it now. All right. So this is Mitchell's Choice, This Girl, by Kungs vs. Cooking on Three Burners. Okay, so finally, uh, we've got one that you all agreed on, called What Went Down by Foles. How did you all agree on that? Um, well, it was kind of a thing, like, it was the start of the summer holidays, and we couldn't meet up, so it was a sort of, I had to choose the song, which I thought we all, all liked. <laughs> and, yeah, so the singer led it, yeah, okay. Yeah, so, yeah, and it is a song that we all like. That's good. We might be working out where the ego is in this group. No, <laughs> no, no. No, don't even feed that. Um, so, are you going to play, are you, play, you going to do it as a cover at some point, do you reckon? I don't know, I don't know. We might do a false song as a cover, but I don't know if we'll do this one. No. I don't know. Why not? I don't know. Because mm. it's, quite, it's quite a tricky song, I think. Mm. It's, yeah, I don't know. The remix, like yeah, a simple it's, remix. It's the kind of song that I like... Well, I, I think we like a lot, and I don't. We don't really want to ruin it. With All, our right. Cover. All right. All right. I'm looking forward to hearing this then. Yeah, we could it's do that one. We could do that it's one. It's got quite a cool bass line. Yeah, we'll do that one. Yeah. Mountain of uh, my gates coming up soon. Okay, check it out. Watch this space. Okay. Anything else to say about uh, what went down by Foles before we play it? Do you know anything about Foles? Do you tell us anything about them as a group? Uh, they had they went to, they performed at Glastonbury the other day, and I know Jude went and saw them the other day, so that's one of the reasons I picked them. 
So, you know. Well, if you want to text in any comments, dude. <laughs> if he's listening. <laughs> he's falling asleep. Yeah. No. He has Facebook, does he? No, I don't think he does. He's on that Facebook. Probably be listening on the radio, though. Mm. He said he was. Mm. Okay. Okay, let's listen to What Went Down by Foles. You're listening to Fruma FM 96.6. This is Sound Check with Sarah Vian. And Patrick Moss. And we have Where the Water Lies live in the studio. So that was The Falls, wasn't it? And that was um, What Went Down. And um, that was uh, their final choice of uh, music that's influenced them. That was really tight and powerful, wasn't it? I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. Okay, so we're on to part three, and um, we've got um, a message we from Jude, the guitarist who's uh, sick at home in bed. What's he saying? Oh, uh, yeah, Jude said um, for the song that just played, I really like this song as well. They rocked at Glastonbury. Them and Taylor and Parlour were my favourite gigs. Oh, and shout out to Barney. Barney? Because he's been in every single one of our All right. gigs. Excellent. So he's the promo, beginning of the promo team, maybe. He's our manager. Yeah. Oh, Barney? Number I thought that was your family. manager out there. No, that's my dad. No. <laughs> <laughs> See, if you call him your manager, <laughs> you look cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's exploiting the talent. Mm. Okay, so part three. Um, this is all going to be you solo, solo, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And you're going to be playing um, a few tracks for us. And the first one is called Too Many Friends by Placebo, yeah? Yes, that's it. Um, go for it. Okay. Just put these on. Cue to moody lighting.
that was Solo playing Too Many Friends originally by Placebo, yeah. live here in the old fire station in Froome, for Froome FM. Um, are you doing a lot of solo stuff? Yep, yeah, I've got a couple of gigs coming up. Uh, there's one at the Nani Acoustic Cafe, which is going on in August. Yeah, I think, yeah, and, and yeah, um, there's a festival that I think I'm going to, and I'm going to be playing a little stage there which would be good, hopefully. And just genuinely, well, I play at the Nani Acoustic Cafe every month, but I only usually play like four or five songs. But for this, I've got like a full hour slot, so I'm going to play like all of the songs in my revenue. So, yeah. Right, OK. Yeah. Okay. That's great. I mean, I noticed you refer to Acoustic Cafe, and you've changed guitars for this yeah. bit, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. Um, is that, when you're solo, is it just practicality that you're acoustic? Uh, no, this, in my opinion, with just what a solo voice, I think that this guitar sounds better than that one. Right, OK. Yeah. yeah it's a, OK, that's great. Um, <coughs> OK, so we're going to carry on going through. Now, this is a, a change from the original programme because we moved one of your solos into the first part. Yeah. Um, I've just got a one-word note on my sheet here which says, Alone. Yeah, but it's, it's a song that I wrote a long time ago for a school project with my friend Maddie Matthews. Uh, Shout out if you're out there. Um, and it was the the teacher at the time, which was in Oakfield, she really liked it, and she put us onto a slot at the uh, Blues Night, which was a thing that happens at Oakfield. And it went well there, and I keep playing it because I like it, and I think it's good. OK, so, that's yeah. great. So here we go. We have got Solo with Alone. composition yeah and when did you write that way back at the start of uh end of year seven probably start of year eight as a music topic thing we were doing in oakville mm -hmm. yeah how many years ago was that then well uh, i'm in year nine going on to year 10 now so it must have been what three years ago two three years ago mm -hmm. yeah cool so, yeah so the next track's going to be a lead belly track yeah, yeah? When did you discover Lead Belly? Uh, when I first heard this song, probably. This was a thing that my dad showed me, this song. And mm. I didn't realize that it was also a cover that Nirvana did. Mm. So um, 
both of Lead Belly and Nirvana are two mm. of my favorite artists. Mm. And um, I just love Lead Belly's sort of rough acoustic sound. Mm -hmm. And then I also love Nirvana's sort of quite polished mm. sound, but still Do you like the Unplugged album? Yeah, that's... I, it was lo I love doing harmony to that one, actually. Yeah, that was yeah. one of the things I think it was on. It was in MTV Unplugged in New yeah. York at the end of it. Yes, year. very good. And I was just thinking we should give your dad a shout out, actually, because he's so supportive, isn't he? Sort of yeah. sat there in the dark, egging you on, driving you over, I'm sure. So yeah. should we just send some big love to Yeah, big dad. love to dad. Is it? Yeah. And so is, is it your dad's record collection that, that got you into all these um, sort of classic legends then? Well, no, yeah, it's his like mind record collection. He just, when we're just sitting there, he'll just put on one record and mm. then that'll trigger another one and he'll just go the whole night just reciting records. Yeah. And yeah. Brilliant. Well, kind of maybe he could DJ on Free My Fam. Yeah. <laughs> we'll line that Free up. Free My Fam makes DJ uh, dads cool, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Is it? Are you sure about that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. He needs okay. to be cool, cool okay. coolified. <laughs> okay, great. So let's have a listen to uh, In the Pines by Lead Belly. Okay. Shiver the 
And that was Solo playing In the Pines, uh, originally by Lead Belly. Um, that was great, thank you. Just a little bit of extra information for our listeners. The, um, we've been talking here about Froome College, which the three of you attend now, and also about Oakfield. Well, for those outside the area, or for those like me inside the area, but who had education a long time ago, um, Oakfield uh, apparently is for 9 to 13-year-olds. Is that about right? Yep. yep. And then you move on to Froome College. Yep. Um, so just people might not... Well, people won't have a clue what the various schools in Froome do. They're not actually in Froome, so just sort of let them know that. And also, in the interest of balance, I did just um, ask around as to whether anyone else was doing any solo work, but apparently it's you that's really doing the solo stuff. Well, I do think that um, you, Sky, have done a little bit of busking and whatever on yeah. your own from the notes, but yeah. Okay, but I just didn't want these two to miss out. <laughs> um, anyway, that was great. Um, we're moving on through your musical selection, and we've now got a Pearl Jam number. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, Pearl Jam are my favourite band, and this is probably one of my favourite songs by them. The song is called Black. <laughs>
You're listening to Fruma FM 96.6. This is Soundcheck with Sara Vian and... Patrick Moore. And we've got Where the Water Lies in the studio. And that is that was solo Ray Candy, who is the lead vocalist of the band, uh, playing Pearl Jam Black. And I must, that's off the 10 album, isn't it? Yes, it is. Do you know that that album gave me the strength to give up smoking? So don't underestimate the power of music to give people strength to move forward. Yeah, I love that song. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to be um, coming up to the final track, which is O oh Children by Nick Cave. Yeah. So some really deep stuff yeah. here, isn't it? Yeah. I'm impressed. Yeah. Okay, so we've got about six minutes left. Um, let's just roll on, yeah? Thank you.
And that was Solo from Where the Waters Lie, uh, doing O oh Children by Nick Cave. Thank you very much. Um, thanks for coming into the studio tonight, guys and girls. Um, very quickly at the end, Where the Waters Lie, great name. Where did you get it from? Uh, well, we were kind of stuck for names. And then we were just looking through photos and videos on, on my phone and for inspiration and stuff. And then we came across a video of a waterfall. And they were like, where the water falls, and they were like, how about where the water lies? And that was just basically it. Brilliant. Thanks. Thanks, Guy. Okay, that's great. Thank you for coming in. Um, we've, um, we've no show tomorrow night, which would originally have been scheduled. Um, unfortunately, that's been cancelled. But our next show is September the 9th. Soundcheck returns on September the 9th, live from the assembly rooms. And the artist might well be sitting next to me, Sarah Vianne. Live sound check at the assembly rooms. Tickets are available; they're free online from August the 9th. Um, so we'll be we'll be returning then uh, with Sarah live on stage at the assembly rooms, and I think we're going to go out with one of yours. <laughs>